we do have a tool for the base. We want to use E for the base though. Is there anything that we can do? Sure, right? Because we can write 2 as e to the ln 2 power. e and ln cancel, 2 is equal to 2, right? And the reason we want to do this is so that I can utilize the Euler's formula. And now let's take a look. Let's look at 2 to the i. I will write down the 2 in red, the i in black. And you see, for this 2, I'm going to replace that with e to the ln 2 power. So let me write it down right here. And then we'll raise this to the i's power. And when we have a power to another power, what should we do with the powers? Just multiply it, right? So now we will have e for the base, i for the power right here, multiplying with this, ln2, like that. And now, as you can see, we got a full matched. We have the e for the base, i is the i, and then theta is the ln2. In another word, we can just plug in ln2 into the theta, theta here. Even though we don't have the pi around, but ln2 is just as cool, okay? So now, I'm going to write this down. This is equal to cosine, and the theta is again ln2, so let me write it down right here, and then we add i sine, and the theta is of course this ln2. And this is how we'll express 2 to the i, right here, right? So this is it. And of course, if I just end the video right here, it would be so boring, right? Because it's only like 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Well, let me formulate this. It doesn't have to be just a 2, right? It can be x. So based on this idea, we can write this as x to the i's power. And you know the deal. This is the same as saying e to the ln x raised to the i's power. And of course, do the same thing. This is e to the i's power times ln x. And now, this is the crazy part. We will put ln x into cosine and also sine function. And you'll see this is equal to cosine of ln x like this. And then we add i sine of ln x. So this is kind of like the definition of x to the i's power. We have that. And once again, if I just end the video right here, this is 3 minutes and about 20 something seconds. So, I don't think you guys will get enough out of it. Hey, look at that. We have x and some strange power now. Why don't we talk about integration? And let's see what, to, what can we get from there, right? And now, let's take a look. Let's try to integrate x to the i's power. i is, of course, that imaginary unit, okay? So, we'll integrate that x to the i's power dx. And take a guess, how should we integrate this guy? Remember, we're integrating x to the i's power in the x world. So of course, i is just like a constant. So we'll just be doing the good old power rule backwards. We add 1 to it, and then divide it by the new exponent. So we'll just do 1 over i plus 1, like that. In another word, this is equal to 1 over i plus 1 times x to the i plus 1 power. And technically, yes, I'm done. All right? So what does this even mean, though, by the way? Sure, this, this looks cute, but is there anything better that we can do? Yes. Now, take a look of what x to the i's power. This is pretty much cosine of ln x, and we also have another function part, sine of ln x. Right? Oh no, there's the i. Have you ever encountered the integral of cosine of ln x? Like this. How do you do this? Yes. You let u equal to ln x, and then you do u substitution, and then you do integration by parts. But today, I'll show you how we can take care of this integral, and in fact, another one, integral of sine of ln x. Once again, we will kill two birds with one stone, all right? So I'll talk about integration of this crazy function right here. As we can see, on the left-hand side, we have this part, right? Original, it was integral of x to the i's power dx in black. And x to the i's power, we know it's that, right? So let me just write this down. The original integral, it's pretty much saying we will be integrating. The first part is the cosine of ln x. So let me put that into the first integral. I will close this. And then for the second part, we have plus i, and we can put the i in the front of the integration sign. So plus i, 
integral sine of lnx dx. And as we can see right here, this contains the real part here and the imaginary part right here. And now, to deal with this, of course we can look back. And in fact, we did it already because that is the answer, isn't it? This answer looks kind of a little bit crazy. If we can somehow change it, maybe we'll be able to pick up what the answer should be right here and likewise for this one, right? So of course we'll do that in blue. So let's try to take a look of how we can change this part here and maybe we can use this kind of definition to help us out. First, we have the one over i plus one and let me just write it down for you guys right here. I will put that down as one over Instead of i plus 1, I will write it down as 1 plus i, and you guys will see why. And then, this is x to the i's power plus 1. Of course, we can write that down as x to the first power times x to the i's power, isn't it? Now, this part is not that great, because I don't like to be on the bottom. I shall be on the top, isn't it? So, of course, we can just do the usual business. We multiply the bottom by the conjugate, of course, do the same on the top. And now, we will see, on the top we have just that, so let me put a parenthesis like this, 1 minus i, alright? On the bottom, you multiply this out, of course, the easy way is just 1 square minus i square, i square is negative 1, 1 minus negative 1, which is just 2. And it's on the bottom, so you have 1 over 2, like that. And then we have this x, like this, right here, right? But let me put the x to the top here, so we have x over 2, alright? And x is nice, because that's just a real number. <laughs> so x over 2 times the parentheses, 1 minus i, and what's x to i's power? This guy, right? So I'll put that down right here. Parentheses, cosine of ln x, and then plus i sine of ln x, okay? And now, I will focus on multiplying this part out. I will leave this all the way in the front. So we will have the following x over 2 all the way in the front, open a big parenthesis, and of course do the usual business, distribute, distribute, draw the arrows to make things nice and pretty, right? This times that, of course, we have the cosine of ln x. This times that, which is, of course, plus i, sine of ln x. And then we do this times that. This is negative i cosine of ln x. And lastly, this is negative i times i. So, of course, you see negative i squared, and i squared is negative 1, and that will actually give us positive 1, okay? Negative i times i is negative i squared. Once again, that will give us positive 1. And then, that's the function part. We just have the sine of l and x, like that. So nice, okay? And, as you can see, this right here also contains two parts. We just have to pick up the real part, and that should be the answer for that. And likewise, the imaginary part. And that, of course, will be the answer for that. So now, let me put the x over 2 in the front. So let's see what's the real part. Well, that's the part that has no i. And we have this plus that, right? So I'll just write this down. This is cosine of ln x plus sine of ln x. This is the real part. And I'll underline this right here. Okay, and then here we have the imaginary part. Both of them have the i, so we shall factor that out. Let me put it down as plus i, and then a quantity. This is sine of ln x, and then minus cosine, the i is in the front already, minus cosine of ln x, like this. And now I'll have the bracket to close that, and then another big parenthesis to close everything. So, as you can see, this right here, is the imaginary part. And of course, we should distribute, distribute as usual. Now, I can tell you guys what the answer is. This right here, now let's go back to black and red. This right here, I will write it down in black. The answer to this is equal to x over 2 times that, so I'll put it down as x over 2, parentheses, cosine of ln x, and then we add sine of L and X. That's it, right? And of course, if you want to have the plus C, if you're obsessed with C, then just go ahead and put down the plus C. And anyway, 
This is it for that. Now, for this guy, I'll put it down here. Just this guy, the I, I just care about this integral, right? This guy has to be this times x over 2. So I'll put this down. x over 2 times sine of ln x minus cosine of ln x, all right? And of course, this right here technically should be plus d1 because, well, just because, plus d2. They have no relationship, by the way, but I just want to use a different constant. Anyway, that's it. Really, really cool, right? This is another way to use complex numbers to figure out integral. And in fact, I just realized this tonight. I figured this out because all of a sudden I was thinking, what's 2 to the i? And then I worked this out. It was so great. And I just want to share, with, share this with you guys. Anyway, this is it.